Yeah, most likely you're not gonna get over 30 miles per gallon in that thing. But that will. So if you want a car that has an awesome driving experience while comfortably knowing that you'll get over 30 miles per gallon, look no further because these five cars and an honorable mention all slide under the fun economy car category. Well, except maybe the honorable mention. All while still cruising in style. Let's go. The first car on this list is in its sixth generation of body style. And now the Ford Mustang EcoBoost is sporting the peppy four cylinder turbocharged engine, which means the ever so popular muscle car is getting fuel economy as well. Thanks to that little turb ski. Now, I can't believe that we're talking about four cylinder muscle cars, but at least this Ford Mustang has a little bit more power than the four cylinder Camaro. In fact, the Ford pushes out 310 horsepower and 350 foot pounds of torque. And you know what all that horsepower is good for? Zero to 60 in 5.1 seconds. This pony car has the curb appeal, independent rear suspension, and it sips gas with 32 miles per gallon on the highway. Now that's impressive. Now I've had some wheel time behind this next car on the list and it is an awesome, awesome, awesome car. You'd think that Volkswagen with the Golf R in the lineup and it's all wheel drive would be a tough platform to top. And well, it is, but the GTI is no slouch either. See, it's turbocharged four cylinder is actually one of the better ones available right now. Yeah, it doesn't offer the push you back in the seat power of the Golf R, but that's not what this car is all about. It's a momentum car. And still with 228 horsepower under the hood, this little rabbit will accelerate to 60 in a decent 6.4 seconds. The one that I got to drive was a manual transmission, which was actually a really good little unit. The clutch pedal was pretty light and the shifts were crisp. And I think it's the perfect transmission to complement its nimble and responsive handling. Yeah, it is front wheel drive, but it's, it's a fun front wheel drive. And when you're getting 36 miles to the gallon on the freeway, it's gonna give you smiles for miles past a lot of gas stations. Now real quick, snag some ideal merch and also the ideal question of the day, which is. So what is the most fun car that you know of with over 30 miles per gallon? Let me know down in the comments. Love to see your guys' answers and I'm gonna pin the one that I like the most or the most ideal comment. All right, let's carry on. No list would be complete without a Mazda MX-5. If you've ever been in one, you know that these cars are just perfectly balanced. And they've been hitting apexes for more than 20 years straight. And the new one is still doing that. The revised four cylinder engine puts out 181 horsepower. And this thing scoots from zero to 60 in just 5.7 seconds. <laughs> It's cheap, it's reliable, and it is a ton of fun. So it's easy to see why all generation Miatas get so much love. And when it comes to MPGs, 35 miles to the gallon. Yeah, baby. Mini Coopers have always been quirky and the new one is just no different. It comes as a three door or five door hatchback as well as a two door convertible. And if you're gonna get the S model, which you totally should, that little turbocharged two liter engine puts out 189 horses, which does decently quick work of zero to 60 in just 6.2 seconds. And the best part is these things handle like go-karts and are just a ball of fun at pretty much any speed. And the thing I like most about them is they're highly customizable. So you can really make them your own. But the one thing that's not customizable is MPGs and the Cooper S gets 32 miles to the gallon on the highway. Now, before we get to the best bargain for smiles per gallon, here is that honorable mention, baby. <laughs> The new Toyota Supra has a lot of BMW Z4 under it, which is kind of hard to swallow. I mean, what do, you, what do you think of it? Now, there's no denying that the turbocharged three liter inline six that has 335 horses and 365 foot pounds of torque is perfectly suited for the Supra, which honestly, the looks are kind of growing on me. And zero to 60 comes in a rather quick 3.8 seconds, thanks to that eight speed automatic transmission, which uh, is the only transmission available for the Supra. But when you're looking at getting 31 miles per gallon on the freeway, that is some pretty good performance. 
but I still don't know if I can get over the looks and the fact it's a BMW Z4, so that's why it's the honorable mention. I used to own one of these and the Honda Civic SI Coupe, and it also comes in a sedan, is one of the best commuter, sports cars, fun cars that you can own. It's kind of unassuming, but the 1.5 liter turbocharged engine, which puts out 205 horses, is actually a lot of fun to rip through the gears. <laughs> VTEC, bro. Wait, does it have VTEC? Honda's Sport Compact has a limited slip differential standard, which means carving up the curves is second nature for this thing. In Honda, one thing that they know how to do is make manual transmissions, and this only comes in a stick. Which is buttery smooth. So whether you decide that the coupe or the four-door sedan is your flavor, you're gonna have a ton of fun, all while getting 38 miles per gallon on the freeway. You better believe that all five cars on this list, plus the honorable mention, are gas sippers. Just like these five myths that people still believe for some reason. Or you should check out the video that YouTube recommends you watch next. Oh, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe. But either way, you can't lose and as always keep living that ideal lifestyle.